Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make a glossy text effect using Photoshop CS5. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is download the link below, which will be in the description. And you want, this is the background of the tutorial we will be doing. And this is the folder you get when you download it, and you just want to double click. And I have the JPEG file for you guys and the Photoshop file. So we'll click on the Photoshop file and let it open up so this is how the background is going to look the first thing you want to do is create your text so you want to click the T right here and you want to type in whatever you want I'm going to type in F, F, F for fully free films and the font I will be using is called Trajan Pro and you can use whatever font you want and the color I use is obviously black so the next thing you want to do is right click on the text layer and you want to go to blending options and the first thing you want to click on is drop shadow and for here you want the blend mode at multiply the color at black you want the opacity at around 50 percent you want the distance at 5 and the spread at 5 I mean the spread at 0 and you just want to leave everything alone so the next thing you want to do is click on inner glow and you want the blend mode for this to be on color dodge you want the opacity at around 35 percent and you want the color at a light bluish so anything will do and you want the size for the element at 8 pixels and the rest is good the next thing you want to click on is bubble and emboss and for this you want the technique instead of smooth you want to put it at chisel hard and you want the depth at around 310 percent and you want the size at 3 and the soften at 0 pixels and for the highlight mode you instead of having it at screen you want to go to color dodge and that's it for bubble and boss. Next thing you want to click on is on contour. And for this, all you're going to be doing is messing with the linear mapping. And you just want to create like a jugged or rigged line. It doesn't matter how you do it, just like just how I'm doing it, turn it like that. So that's all I'm going to do. And you want to click OK. And you want to go to Satan. And for Satan, you want the blend mode at color burn and the opacity at 50. And you want the angle at negative 135 degrees. And you want the distance at 5 and the size at 8. 5 and 8. And you want to also change the contour. And for this, you want to create it. You want to take the first point and you want to move it up and somewhere at the top you want to grab one and just pull it down like this and you want it somewhere close to this it doesn't matter how accurate you are and you want to click OK and the next thing you want to do is go to gradient oh wait go back to Satan and for contour you want to check the anti-alias and now you want to go back to gradient overlay and you want the opacity at 100, the blend mode at normal. And we're going to change the gradient colors. So what you want to do, take any uh, gradient, and you want to add five like colors at the bottom, but you just want to click. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and you want to like kind of spread them out evenly. This is all right. And for these colors, you want to make them like gray. You want to make each one a different shade of gray. And now you can see how it's coming together. It's looking more. It's looking more glossy. I want the last one to be a little higher gray. 
So make whatever color gray you want and just click OK. And you just want to leave the rest alone. Or you can do whatever colors you want. See what, which one works best for you guys. And first stroke, you want the size at 3. You want the position at inside. And for the fill type, you don't want it at color, you want it at gradient. So for this color, what we were, we we're going to do is you want to get three uh, colors at the bottom. So click here. And you want the location at 50% or 51, it really doesn't matter. And for the colors, you want this color at like, you want to go to blue and you want to go like in the middle of the blue and you want to click OK. And for this color, you're going to want it at grayish. So just put any gray you want. And for this color, you want the same blue effect. So you want to go to the blue and go like to the, I guess, left upper section. And you want to click OK. And you want the angle at 90 degrees. And the scale at 100. And you want to click OK. So it does look glossy. It's a pretty good and nice text effect. And it's also simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Thanks, guys.